All right, thanks, Greg. Well, you have seen him race against chefs on their own turf and decide which chef gets chopped on the Food Network. Celebrity chef and restaurateur Aron Sanchez is throwing down the culinary gauntlet, this time in the Go Authentico Mexican Cook-Off Challenge. And he's joining us this morning. Good to see you, sir. How are you Welcome. doing, man? Well, thank you for having me. So we're not going to make you face down with anybody here. No, we're not. This we're... is a lot easier. But tell me about this Go Authentico Challenge. Well, what it is is that, you know, we're asking people to submit original recipes using cacique products. And we're talking about great chorizos, wonderful cremas, and most importantly, cheeses. And I think that if you could be able to go to their website, submit original recipe, some video would actually be preferable, and then try to come up with your own idea. The winners and the finalists get to go to New York at my restaurant on a televised spot to see who can win a, a full week's vacation. Well, you can call it vacation at the at the Culinary Institute in. But Grace they're going to be working, right? They're going to yeah. be there and cooking. Fantastic! And they're, yeah, and we're, they're going to have a, a panel of celebrity judges. Whoever wins gets to go to Napa. Nice. So you can imagine. But you know, so this is sort of an idea of how to utilize these products. So really you can't use this restaurant exactly. <laughs> recipe. But he's going to make something for us today using the Cacique products, and you're going to let us know exactly what we can do. All right, let's get started. Well, right here, I'm going to ask you to start stirring because you said that you're really That's good at that. That's all I'm good at. Exactly. Okay, so right here I have some butter and some flour. So in essence, what we're making there is a roux. Okay? A roux. Yes. And this is like a thickening agent for sauces. Right here I have a splice band. I have some cinnamon, some brown sugar, some salt, some nutmeg, a little bit of garlic powder, a lot of good spices. We're going to add that in there. Don't worry, all these recipes are going to, all these amounts are going to be on the website. Yeah, exactly. If you want to, you know, find these recipes and more information, go to caciqueusa.com. You can find them there. We're going to stir all those spices and into that, we're going to add a little bit of beef broth, okay? Now this is going to sort of be the, um, so the liquid portion of this. Right, right, right. But what we're really going to bind this whole sauce together and make it something very interesting and give it this richness and creaminess is the crema, okay? So we're putting the crema right in the sauce. Yeah, we're going to put the crema right in the sauce and that's going to help thicken it, okay? And if you leave it on the flame, you'll see that that flour and the crema, that butteriness, that richness really comes out. We're going to let that go for a little bit, okay? All right. Now we're going to move over here. Now right here we have the chorizo. Now this is a pork chorizo that's just been rendering down, cooking down. It releases all of its flavor, all of its fat. It smells so good in here, too. Oh, yeah. This is like a Mexican kitchen, and this is what makes it with the chorizo great. You know, Cacique doesn't substitute any sort of authenticity when it comes to their products. And right here, this reminds me of growing up and being at home. Absolutely. Well, we want to mention, you, you, when you were growing up at home, that you're a Texas boy. Absolutely. El Paso man. was where your mom started cooking yeah, absolutely. before she went to New York and kind of was one of the pioneers of Mexican cuisine in New York, making exactly. that chic and trendy in the, in the restaurants there. Absolutely. We've been there since the early 80s, so it's nice to come back to Texas and get some love. So uh, right here I so have... So we're mixing this in with the butternut squash. Right, yeah, and right here I have it, and it's just simply roasted. I scored it. It's been cooking in the oven until it becomes soft and tender. I've taken some out. I've kind of just mashed it up a little bit, and then we're going to get into we're going to get into rolling some enchiladas, okay? Now, this is real simple. Now, we're going to take this plate, a couple of right. tortillas, and then what we're going to do is we're going to lay down some of this sauce on the bottom. Okay. Right. I'll show how we do this. Ready? Just a little bit on the bottom. Sauce on the plate beforehand. Yeah, and then what we'll do is we'll take a little bit of these tortillas. We'll start to roll them up. Okay, ever so slightly. We'll do about two, one for you, one for me. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll place that right on top. Okay. Now that crema is really going to come out, and then the butternut squash is really going to be something special. You can tell he's done TV. He's got 30 <laughs> seconds left, and he's going in for the big finish right now. This is a man who knows how to cook on camera. So then what we're going to do is we're going to top it with a little bit of sauce. A little more sauce off the top. Yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll just place it with this queso quesadilla, which is a beautiful melting cheese. You put that in the oven, let it brown up, and then this is what we have right here, the okay? Finished product. And, and then what right we do is there. we finish it with a little bit of cilantro, and this is what we're talking about. Right here, all that Such richness. Good stuff. Sir, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Chefs versus City, all the other shows. You're on like 8 million shows on the Food Network. And we want to let you know that for a copy of today's recipe, you can go to our website, wfa.com slash GMT, and then scroll down to the recipe section. Thank you so much for being no, here. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank Amy, you, over to you.